Do you want this? Do you want your tea? Do you want your tea? <laughs> Ready. Steady. Go for it. Okay, so today I'm in Hucknall, which is quite a nice little town just to the north of Nottingham. Uh, just Lunchtime from Move It Media Towers, which is back there. We're gonna get our uh, gonna get our munch on here at Spelton Rye if I can get the uh, thing in focus. There we go. Ah, do that. There we are. <laughs> Now it's time to hit the charity shops to find some stuff to turn into Week Arcades. Look at my face, look at my face. Yeah. Right. Okay, I'm back from the shopping trip and got some pretty good stuff actually. Um, first things first, oh. New, um, new form of this I think. Tastes a lot better, gorgeous. Other colors are available, I'm not sponsored by Coca Cola if only, but no. Yum. Um, yeah, rather a successful trip. Um, met a, a lovely young woman um, at Spelton Rye there while well, I was just having my lunch um, she just noticed the crazy camera set up and asked uh, you know what I was doing and what I'm into so that was nice um, in one of the charity shops I met this um, retired um, lady who turns out she was a geneticist at University of Nottingham which Amazing, bow down to you. Fascinated by all that kind of stuff ever since the nursing days back in back in the day. And she obviously knew a lot about my condition, which actually made me feel a bit better. She was, you know, uh, explaining some things to me that uh, my doctors and consultants haven't had time to yet because you only get some amount of time. Fair enough. And she was a very inspiring woman, actually. I'm very impressed by her. I hope I bump into her again. That's the main takeaway, I think, and I'll I'll come back to that in a minute. But first, I know you wanted to see what I've grabbed. So. First of all, a pair of these. Uh, these are Toshiba speakers. 50p each because they didn't have any wires or anything, but we can fix that. So that's because we can upcycle them. These will definitely go into one of the larger arcade builds, I think. Apparently they were, if no one got them, they, it was all going to go in a skip. Which, you know, save it from landfill and donate to charity. Yes, that's what we're all about. Uh, another good thing was we got one of these. Um, well, not one of these. I got... Maybe I bought a box full of them, which again were going in a skip. They used for a pound each. Maybe 40 of them? Mainly, they're basically old school iPod travel wallet things. Um, speak, probably quite a crappy speaker in there, but we'll test them. Um, you know, you put your old school iPod in, in there and then put it in there. It's going to the beach. But I figured the speakers um, might be able to go in maybe a cart key or something like really small and crazy. One of the more artistic projects that we're doing that we don't sell but we do for the art's sake in um, in Equal Arcade. So yeah, I'll figure out how I use these later but I had to get them because you know again donations to charity and things. 
another thing that's what you'll be looking through um, for the foreseeable this is a cheap tripod but basically I don't forget to even hold the weight of my SLR um, but is there a weight on here yeah 568 grams so it wouldn't even hold the weight of my SLR but I unscrew the ball head on this the the tripod head here and that is going to be permanently fixed to a MacGyver wooden permanent fixture thing for putting my SLR on when I'm when I'm at the office in Movit Media. Lastly, we got that that big boy, which is an old school CR. It's not CRT, but it's a standard def computer monitor. Um, that is going to go into the Flying High Trust fund um, for. Um, to, you know, we at the moment we're working with Flying Eye Trust in Nottingham, Hucknall area, North Nottingham area. Um, probably put a Raspberry Pi or something inside that, and the staff can use it to teach the kids how to code. So uh, hopefully we'll get some build videos on that as well. So yeah, successful trip. The main takeaway I have from it is get yourself out there. Um, obviously I've been stuck in hospital wards and all the rest of it while I've been ill. Stuck in our little worlds, and I'm sure you guys do the same, where we're so connected and we can talk to everyone anywhere in the world at any time through our phones, through a, a thing in our hand, through the, through the computers. We don't actually take the time to, to look up from our screens and look around and get to know people. Um, that's probably what's missing these days. Maybe if people start to get to know know each other a bit better, looked out for each other a bit more, then maybe we won't be in the state we're supposedly in, according to the to, to the news, but whatever. Um, we might be in a better position as a society in a whole. A bit existential and deep, but you, you get the point. Um, you know, I would never have met the, that lady who was the geneticist. I would never have met the woman in the, in the shop there and just having random small talk. It, it was nice to actually get out there and do that. Uh, after two years of pretty much being on my own. So that's good. I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. Let me know below if it looks any better, if it sounds any better, and let me know uh, what kind of things you'd like to see from me going forwards. Um, I probably won't do these daily, just because some days, I, you know, because of my condition, because sometimes I can't speak, some days I can't think. I'm having a good day today, so, you know, make the most of it. But let me know what you think, let me know ideas that you want me to do, and uh, we'll sort that out. Until next time, I've been Moobit, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra! I like to move it, move it, bit, bit.